Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see class 9 NCRT chapter number 2 polynomial Roman number 2. Use the factor theorem to determine whether g of x is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases. So we have near a step 3 subdivision. We will see one by one all the things. Okay. First they asked to check the given g of x is a factor of the p of x they asked. Means first you have to take the g of x which is equal to 0 then only you will get the value of x g of x we have x plus 1 which is equal to 0 then x value I am getting minus 1 ok so now this what is this x value substitute in the given p of x so to what we will get we will see 2 into minus 1 whole power 3 plus x square in the sense minus 1 square minus 2 into x x in the sense minus 1 and the constant minus 1 like that we have to check okay now we will start to simplify this so 2 into minus 1 cube now you will get minus 1 only plus minus 1 square the value plus 1 minus into minus plus 2 and finally minus 1 we have okay now see this plus 1 and minus 1 is cancelled 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and here we have plus 2 so here also the minus 2 plus 2 is cancelled then remaining I am getting 0 means the final answer we are getting 0 now therefore the g of x the g of x is a factor of a p of x likewise you need to complete this is answer for first one now we will go for a second second question p of x equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 g of x equal to x plus 2 and here also I am going to take the g of x which is equal to 0 then g of x is x plus 2 then uh, the plus 2 goes to opposite minus 2 we are getting so this x value we need to substitute in the given polynomial so p of uh, minus 2 which is equal to x cube in the sense uh, minus 2 cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 understand now we will start to simplify this minus 2 cube now cube in the sense that is odd number so minus you will get uh, 2 cube value 8 okay and 3 into minus 2 square square in the sense you will get positive 2 square the value 4 plus into minus minus 3 2 are 6 plus 1 now you have to simplify this we have here minus 8 3 4 are 12 minus 6 plus 1 and you will get minus 5 now just see minus 8 uh, what is that um, minus 5 in the sense we are getting minus 13 plus 12 then the final answer is minus 1 so minus 1 is not equal to 0 so that what is the meaning not equal to 0 in the sense the given g of x is not factor of p of x therefore g of x is not factor of p of x like that you need to complete this is second one answer now we will go for third one p of x equal to x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6 and g of x equal to x minus 3 and here also the g of x I am going to take equal to 0 then only we will get the value of x so g of x x minus 3 equal to 0 then x equal to we are getting 3 so x value is s3 this x value substitute in the given polynomial so p of 3 which is equal to x cube in the sense what is that 3 cube minus 4 into x square x square x value is a 2 square plus x x in the sense that is 3 and plus 6 understand now we will simplify this 3 cube value 27 minus 2 square the value 4 4 fours are 16 plus 3 plus 6 now we are getting 9 understand now sorry I did one mistake here x value we need to substitute 3 but I did here uh, 2 so 3 you have to change this is 3 then 3 square the value uh, is 9 9 4 is 36 here you will get uh, 36 understand now 27 plus 9 in the sense 36 minus uh, this 36 so plus 36 minus 36 we are getting a uh, 0 understand so when you substitute the x value we have to be careful then only you will get correct value so therefore uh, what we are getting the given this g of x uh, is factor of p of x is factor 
of a p of x like that we need to complete our answer i hope you will understand this thank you thanks for watching this video subscribe for getting more videos and press the bell icon for getting notification